So if, when looking at the external factors that had an influence on these boys' engagements in PE, um, it was often that, again, as I mentioned earlier, competitive team games was a major factor to the reasons why they just did not like PE. They just found it, again, this just horrible environment where there would just be more dominant, more sporty, popular boys in the class that would take over the lesson and they would kind of just be pushed aside. Often some of them were talking about how they were pushed into goals, they would be in a goalie for the whole, the whole of the lesson. The teacher would maybe say, right, out you come, you come into the game, but eventually due to these just kind of strong personalities, the boys would somehow kind of manage to push them back into goals. And it came to the point where these kind of disengaged boys would just simply not mind it too much in a way to get in goals just because it was a safe place for them and they wouldn't be out in the spotlight. People wouldn't notice really if they weren't doing it as well as others. Um, also that came into it was the teachers. The teachers, they often in the interviews, they said they really did like the teachers. It came across that PE teachers uh, have a very good bond with a lot of the kids. Usually it may just be to do with the fact that it's a practical subject. They can talk to, they're talking to them, interacting with them so much, even before and after the lesson. But even they were coming across as the bad guy in some parts due to the fact that they felt that these teachers were forcing them to do these sports. They were the ones who were actually making them do it. They, they had the power to change the sport, but in the end of the day, the teacher chose to do football and these kids were told, you have to wear your kit, you must take part. So again, the teachers were coming across as the bad guys. Also with the teachers, of course, were peers. As we're talking about in the competitive team games, you've got peers who would use these times in the PE lessons to victimise and often bully the kids who are maybe not as good. So simply if they're not able to perform one of the skills that might end up in a class or a group of boys laughing at that kid and obviously that's just making him feel completely terrible in the lesson. Uh, one thing that one of the disengaged S4 boys, so one of the older boys in my sample, he found that sometimes the actual sport related to the just the way the boys acted towards them. So he felt that, especially in football, he felt that all the boys were just so much more aggressive uh, to people that maybe weren't doing it as well. They would get annoyed at them for making mistakes. They felt that it was ruining their whole game of football. Whereas when he was talking about when they did dodgeball, so dodgeball comes across maybe a, just a bit more relaxed sport, um, that there just wasn't, this aggression was just non-existent. Same with athletics, because maybe it was a bit more of an individual sport. It meant that, uh, yeah, just the fact that individual sport, it meant that they were just caring about their own uh, success and they didn't really mind what everyone else was doing. So these disengaged boys weren't getting the heat of it uh, from these more popular and dominant boys in the class. Um, what they found, what I found as well was the sports that they really did enjoy were often the more the individual sports. Um, so badminton came across really well. Uh, simply again because if there was him and their friend they might not be into other sports they could again take themselves away play in the far end of the hall or something but again it's just those two working with each other not having to work with these other boys who maybe our ability level will be much higher um, but they're not having to interact with them and feel like they're letting other people down in the class.